Hi everybody, my name is Normsk. I'm an artist, caricaturist and illustrator and I'm actually doing a series of interviews with Jonathan Marshall to find out more about his amazing bond with Amadeus, his horse and his falcons. As you can see I've uh, shadowed Jonathan for a couple of days <laughs> <laughs> and during that time I produced some simple line drawings, some photographs and some video. Right, I've just caught up with Jonathan. Uh, Jonathan, tell me, did you sleep well? Yeah, actually I love sleeping in the lorry um, at the shows. It's always a, a brilliant time to think about what I'm going to do the next day. And um, there's something about being there, the horse right there, sometimes the moon's out, I have a little fire. Uh, it's a great time to think. Of course, this is actually all about preparation, isn't it? It is, and actually there's uh, the five P's I always go on, and that is proper preparation uh, produces perfect performance. <laughs> Get it in the right way around. Because there's so much to think about, uh, not only what I'm gonna do, the animals, but also the variables that can happen at a show because there's so many people, there's the weather to consider. Um, and if you haven't really gone over everything in your mind, then you're just uh, setting yourself up for some, something that could, you know, spoil it. So I want it to be absolutely perfect and I rehearse every second of it. I'm actually my own biggest critic and so I spend a lot of time cleaning everything, making sure it's presented perfectly. Going to be flying, Jonathan. Well, uh, the first display I'm going to do Aria, and I'm going to do Sonnet, which are the two one, two youngsters in the middle. And in the next display, at uh, 1.30, I'll do good old Duchess, which is here, good old Faithful, and possibly Wenner, or not, if not more Wenner, I'll do uh, Sonnet again because she's just brilliant. So people don't become horseback falconers because they want to make a fortune. This lifestyle is actually um, a, a passion. It's something that uh, is within me and it's something that I can't help. And I've been obsessed with horses and falcons since I was a child. And so I want to be able to share this with as many people as I can, because I believe that this is my calling in life and it's very, very unique and special. From what I can actually see, the bond between you, Amadeus, and the birds is overwhelming. Just tell me something about that. It's a very difficult thing to explain uh, because it's uh, happened over many years. Uh, when I first started to do shows professionally back in the 80s, I didn't realize that uh, my show would develop into something far more than just a falconry and horse show. Because actually what I know people get from watching what we do is a great sense of something spiritual uh, much bigger than just a show and I'm glad that we've managed to develop the show to that point because to me it feels as though it's, it makes the whole thing far more worthwhile than just doing a show that people watch and, and then forget about. I want it to be a performance that they'll never forget. My hope is that the true meaning will be etched somewhere in their consciousness and that it'll be something that they will revisit later and really think about.
well i mean i don't think that could have gone any better and the day was amazing duchess was fantastic the crowd responded really well the weather's lovely and yeah i was really really proud of them and hopefully we got some decent footage here yeah as always i wanted to cry i was choking yeah. back my tears as i was talking but i managed to tell the crowd what i wanted to say and everybody seemed to get you know pick up on what i was trying to say so that's good well done well uh well watch the next performance then. lovely thanks a lot after the first performance i had the opportunity to listen to the crowd's reaction and decided to just have a chat with one or two of them hello sir i noticed that you were quite emotionally moved uh, by that can you tell me what that moment meant to you well it meant a great deal because it's something i've only learnt in the last 10 years and I, he just put his arms around me and went a moment ago and said I learnt it when I was two and the horse knows the same thing and it's the love is the only thing that matters nothing else matters love he's got love for the horse and the horse has got love for him and if you touch a horse in the right way and feel it that may seem silly but it's true thank you for talking to me no that's all right it's a pleasure thank you very much what a lovely moment right well good afternoon again everybody it became apparent to me as time went on and we went into the second show that there was something extra happening here it wasn't just a show that this was actually a very very special moment for people what i could see was that they had emerged from a prolonged period of uncertainty and that the spectacle that was unfolding in front of them was delivering shining light and optimism so I asked Jonathan, was he actually aware of that? Yes, I'm very aware of it. And I don't think it's an accident that we've arrived in this place at this time because the horse and myself and the birds and the message are all part of a awareness of consciousness and awareness of trying to shine light and love and optimism um, and it's a very intoxicating mix I only have to look around the crowd and to see the reaction many people uh, are in tears and they can see right in front of them that there's a respect between myself and the horse is there for all to see and I bow down to him in honor of a beautiful soul and love, genuine love to every single person here. Thank you for being part of this. I hope to see you again. And enjoy the rest of the show. Thank you. Jonathan and thank you to all of you for watching these videos we hope that you continue to enjoy watching them